Hi, it's John. Welcome to my channel, EV Intuition, where I'm helping you understand about electric vehicles. A couple months ago, I purchased my first set of tires for my electric vehicle, that being the Tesla Model Y. Now, I've owned a Tesla, excuse me, a Ford Mach-E for a couple years prior to that, but I sold it before I needed to replace tires. So this was the first time I had replaced tires on an EV. And I did a video that I explained details of what I purchased and why I purchased that. Today, I'm going to give you an update on, well, how well are those tires doing and am I happy with that choice? So let's get started. Before I begin, I want to remind you that if you like the content on my channel, please subscribe. Give me a like also and send me any comments that you have. Today, I'm talking about my recent purchase of tires for my electric vehicle, that being the Tesla Model Y. Now, as I indicated, I, I have a full video on my selection of that tire, but just as a, a review of that, I was trying to decide what type of tire to purchase for my EV, and I had this list of tires that I was looking at, and basically I ended up going with the Michelin E Primacy. It's a tire that is made for electric vehicles, and there is a characteristic of that tire called rolling resistance that you won't find in, in any specs, but this tire has good rolling resistance, and that was one of the main reasons I purchased it. Also, I thought the price was right, and you can see that from the other specs, it does pretty well. It has a good warranty of 45,000 miles, good speed index and load index. The um, uniform tire quality grading has a, a good value for tread wear, but the the one downside was the second field in that, which was traction. It got a B. So that was one of my concerns going with that tire. But anyway, I decided to go with it. I purchased it from Costco and you can see the, the purchase price that I, I paid for it and now using that tire. And I got an up date today and basically there's a couple areas that are all pointing to the fact that the efficiency of that tire is give me what I expected. It's, a, it's an improvement over the Continental tires that originally came with the vehicle. And there's three areas where I'm seeing that. The first one is there's a location I go to uh, multiple times a week. It's just three miles away from my house. It's the same drive every single day. And I've been getting some of my best efficiencies ever by going on that drive. Now it's slightly downhill and that's why if, if you're looking on the screen here, you'll see that I'm getting a value for watt hours per mile. This was one of my best, 118. Now I never saw that with my previous set of tires, even at the end. Now there's one thing you should know about tires that when their treads are the thickest, when you buy them, their rolling resistance might be a little higher because of that thick tread. Uh, they tend to wear and maybe get better rolling resistance as they wear down, but these, these aren't brand new tires and I'm getting a, a pretty good efficiency with that tire. I've never seen efficiencies like that. So that was one clue that, hey, the primary reason why I bought this tire is coming through. The second area is I have a or purchased this subscription to Teslify. It's a it's a software program that connects to my vehicle and collects data, all aspects of data uh, from battery to charging, etc. But it collects statistics. And for the last couple of months, I took a look at the month of August and September of the efficiency of this car with these tires on it compared to last year at the same time. So when you look at the chart that I have up, it has lots of data, but I put a little green window around the efficiency of the two different months. In August 2024, 20, the efficiency was around 89%, and then in 2025, 93%. And basically, I did about the same amount of drives and a very similar amount of mileage. And so I think this comparison is really good because the, the type of driving, the distances I did, the temperatures were all right around the same value. So you, I think this is a really good comparison. You can see in this month that I really did do better as far as efficiency on the new Michelin E-Primacy tires. I also then looked at September and I'm bringing that up on the screen right now. And you can see that uh, once again, I get the same uh, improved value in 2025. This one by even more. Now the temperatures in 
over September have been very uh, moderate, meaning 70s. We haven't had any warm days where, as in August, you might have had some days in the 90s, which decreases efficiency. But it's been perfect weather for the EVs in this past month of September. And you can see, once again, the improved efficiency from 103 to 90 uh, of last year. Now, the one area I have to point out about this difference is that in September of 2024, I did go on a longer range trip. When you go on a road trip like that, you're gonna get less efficiency with your vehicle. And so that's probably uh, why the difference, at least in September, is showing even greater than August, which I thought was an excellent comparison because it was apples to apples. Now, the last area that I looked at from a statistical point of view was the Tesla Fi has this capabilities where it keeps track of your efficiency on the different tires. So now you're looking at a chart that shows you the differences between the Continental tires and the Michelin tires, the e-primacies that I just put on. And you can see once again that the efficiency of the, the Michelin is shown as 91.5 and the other one 85. Now this may not be a true comparison because look at the temperature average obviously the continental went through winter and spring and summer and everything and, and had an average temperature of 55 degrees where is ever since i've had the michelin the last several months we we're talking about an average temperature of 73 which might be a little more uh, advantageous from an electric vehicle temperature point of view but once again the three areas that i looked at you know, that one drive that I do all the time, seeing my best efficiencies to comparing month to month to overall data, they're all pointing to the fact that the Michelin E Primacy is a more efficient electric vehicle tire than the Continental. And so, so far, I'm very happy with that choice. Now, the traction uh, grade of B, I haven't really had too many wet days. Or obviously, the snowy days are, are coming in, in the winter ahead. Maybe I'll have some more experiences with that, whether I'm, I'm noticing any difference in the traction of the vehicles. But clearly, the efficiency is, is proven itself to be um, right where I wanted it and I'm satisfied with that. So keep that in mind when you're looking for electric vehicle tires is there is a difference in buying tires that were made for an EV and look at rolling resistance as one of those factors to consider when purchasing those tires. I hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.